Hi, I'm Dr. Suvarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is hydrosalpings and how is it related to infertility? Is there a solution to it? Can you still get pregnant even if you have this issue? Hydrosalpings is a condition where fluid accumulates in one or both fallopian tubes creating a blockage. Now your fallopian tubes extend from your uterus to your ovaries. Each month as part of your menstrual cycle, your ovaries produce an egg that moves through your fallopian tubes. Healthy fallopian tubes provides an open passageway for an egg and a sperm to unite, also called as fertilization. The fertilized egg or embryo travels the same open passageway to your uterus. From there, an embryo can implant in your uterus wall and develop it into a fetus. With hydrosalpings, fluid builds up blocks in this passageway. A block fallopian tubes may prevent sperms from entering your egg or if fertilization does occur, the blockage in your fallopian tubes can prevent the embryo from reaching your uterus. About 20 to 30 percent of infertility cases involve problems related to the fallopian tubes. These are called as tubal factor infertility and hydrosalpings is present in 10 to 20 percent of these cases. An untreated hydrosalpings can make it very difficult to become pregnant and it can increase your risk of miscarriage and pregnancy complications too. In addition to making it difficult to get pregnant through intercourse, a hydrosalpings can increase your risk of an ectopic pregnancy. This is when an embryo is unable to reach your uterus because of the blockage and it uh, may implant in your fallopian tubes or any other place other than the uterus resulting in an ectopic pregnancy. These pregnancies aren't viable and can be life-threatening without treatment. This can also decrease your chances of becoming pregnant through in vitro fertilization. Now, hydrosalpings is a complication and uh, it can make it difficult for you to get pregnant, but IVF can help you get pregnant without your fallopian tubes. With IVF, your clinicians will collect your eggs, fertilize them outside your body using sperm from your partner or a donor. Then your clinician transfers the embryo into your uterus where it can be developed to form a fetus. A hydrosalpings can cause problems once the embryo implants in your uterine uh, wall. Research has suggested that the fluid from the hydrosalpings can flow backwards into your uterus, creating an unhealthy environment for developing embryo. Treating a hydrosalpings increases your chances of healthy pregnancy even if you opt for IVF. So what causes hydrosalpings? If you've had a previous untreated sexually transmitted infection like chlamydia or gonorrhea, pelvic inflammatory disorders, all often these are a result of untreated sexually transmitted diseases or scar tissue was left over from pelvic surgery, especially surgery on your fallopian tubes or if there was a tissue buildup from endometriosis, some tumors, etc. So how do we check for hydrosalpings? There are many techniques one is ultrasound, next is hysterosalpingogram, and then there is laparoscopy. If you have an active infection, your clinician will prescribe antibiotics to resolve this. But there are surgical treatments also for hydrosalpings. One that is called as salpingectomy, removal of one or both the tubes, bilateral salpingectomy when both are removed, or there is something called as neosalpingostomy which repairs the blocks in your tubes. Salpingostomy is usually performed using laparoscopy. With this procedure, your clinician makes a small incision into your fallopian tubes to drain it and to make sure that the tube is open. If you want to understand more about this, if you've been diagnosed with hydrosalpings or you've been told that your tubes are blocked and you're trying to conceive, please feel free to contact us to understand what treatment options are available for you. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.